which is freedom. So can you tell us about these parents in St. Louis Park, who they are and what do they want? Sure. Well, there's a group of six mothers in St. Louis Park who have children who are in the St. Louis Park School District. These are um, small American women who subscribe to the Muslim faith and have sincerely held religious beliefs. And they have particular viewpoints about human sexuality, gender identity, and gender fluidity. And they simply went to the school um, when they found out that the school was reading books, LGBTQ books, to their elementary age children and you know exercise their right under the law to opt their children out of this curriculum. Um, the law provides that any parent um, or adult student over the age of 18 can opt out of a curriculum with which they disagree for any reason. These moms went above and beyond and explained that what is being taught in the school is actually inconsistent with their religious viewpoints, um, and they just simply asked to opt out. But unfortunately, they were denied this right to opt out and, in fact, um, faced some significant hostility in the open meeting at the public board meeting. So certainly a disappointment. And True North Legal is coming alongside First Liberty in this case, defending really the rights of all parents to opt their children out of curriculum with which they disagree. I'm so glad that you... Uh, along with First Liberty, are standing in the breach to help these parents. So it does seem like what you talked about here is the families at issue, right. the school district, mm -hmm. the two law firms now that are involved. Um, and it does seem like this hinges on Minnesota's opt-out law, which you referenced. Can you talk more about that law? Explain how it works and, and why is that important for us to know about? Mm -hmm. Well, Minnesota statute specifically has a provision in the law that allows parents or adult students to opt out of curriculum classes um, for any reason, um, if they don't agree with it. They actually don't even have to provide a religious reason. But as I said, these parents went above and beyond explaining that there's an inconsistency with what's being taught in the classroom and what they believe and what they want to teach their children. Because as we know, the courts have held that parents have a right to dictate the education and upbringing of their children. Um, and the Minnesota opt-out law honors that. The law has been on the books for a while. Again, it's one of the broadest laws in the country and certainly deserves our utmost protection as we head into session. We need to make sure that that law remains on the books. But it's it's not complex, and you and I have talked about this before, but True North Legal has engaged with many parents who have simply submitted um, a notification. It's just like a simple letter that states you know, the topics with which the families or the student um, feels that they need to opt out of. And it is the job of the school to work with those parents collaboratively to provide um, alternative learning instruction. And again, it's important that the students and the parents and the school work together so that there isn't any you know, inconsistency um, or that the school doesn't put the students in a position that's really uncomfortable. Um, these Some of these students, again, elementary age students were put in a position to learn about things that they had never heard of before. And again, were inconsistent with what they were being taught at home by their parents. And um, that was really disturbing to the families and even you know, troubling to the students. Absolutely. I can understand that. So that's the situation. What has True North Legal been able to do so far to make sure that the rights of these families are protected? Well, True North Legal and First Liberty sent um, some correspondence to the school district. We've sent two demand letters, in fact, and asked the school to abide by the law. Again, the law is pretty straightforward. It says that parents have the right and adult students to opt their children out of curriculum with which they disagree. Retribution is not allowed. There's no consequences. You can't penalize students simply because they opt out of something and because they opt out of a certain topic. And again, this isn't about hostility towards anyone. This is about being able to exercise our beliefs freely. And this is about the school operating consistent with the law. So we, at this point, after saying these letters have had some dialogue with the school and are awaiting their correspondence and how um, how they're going to proceed next. Okay. So Renee, I think some of our listeners and viewers might be wondering, in this case, are you defending one particular group or viewpoint or the religious freedom of all Minnesotans? We're absolutely defending the religious freedom of all Minnesotans. And in fact, even these women who are standing up to the school have acknowledged that there is a community of people of diverse faith backgrounds who are concerned about the school's imposition of LGBTQ ideology on their children. And they simply want their rights to be protected. So these women, while they subscribe to the same faith, Somali Americans of the Muslim faith, um, they are really representing um, many people who are concerned, um, including a lot of people of a diverse faith background. So 
Renee, I think all of us, our, our audience, all of us here at MFC are so grateful for your work in this case and on um, and in so many others, many of which unfortunately don't get to see the light of day because of you know confidentiality <laughs> and all that. And so there's just so many other cool things that Renee is always up to. Um, as the counsel for the plaintiff, <laughs> what's your closing statement on this? You know, I've been thinking about this, um, obviously, mulling it over for the last couple of weeks. And I just find it ironic that in the name of inclusion, the district is actually excluding mm -hmm. people and not just anybody, but it seems to be targeting people for their religious beliefs. Um, and that is really uncalled for and inconsistent with the law, both state and federal law. So we look forward to the district um, coming to terms with this and understanding that, in fact, there's a really simple solution. Just provide the parents with the opt out that they deserve consistent with the law. And then, you know, we can all move on. That sounds like a good plan to me. Um, we, I'm just so grateful, Renee, that you are here today. And we will keep you, our audience, updated uh, with any updates uh, as, as this, uh, this situation progresses.